Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Hmm. You won't believe what we are hearing here, but we'll keep, we, we promise always to keep you informed with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Um, Apple Line Media, we keep you up to date. Today, facts behind 700 million allegation against Pastor Izzy Iyamu's campaign organization. Hey, they said I want 700 million. I'm not talking about uh, 700,000 or 700, uh, no, million. Aha, uh -huh. let's go. A member of the Pastor Z Iyamu's campaign organization, Engineer Abu, has described as false allegation that his principal is guilty of embezzling the sum of 700 million. <laughs> According to him, Pastor Z Iyamu signed for the money on behalf of a Doe State PDP in 2015 as Good Luck Jonathan Campaign DG. The money was conveyed by the bank to the late chief Tony Anie's house. A all all um, local government chairmen signed for their respective local government allocations and collected on their behalf. Chief AK Chief AK Giwa who is the current state mobili mobilization secretary and who was then the local government chairman of Etioko East collected, collected that of our local government area. He is alive and he can make statements in this regard to the EFCC. Everybody who, won who was in PDP knows that this is out the absolute truth. If all your campaign is centered on this money, you are on a long way off the road. POI signed alongside Chief Dan Obiri, Tony Azegbemi, current state chairman of PDP and a former deputy governor of Edo State. You guys should stop your empty campaign because Pastor Z Iyamu is here to win. That 700 million being alleged on his neck, he disbursed the money as should be and he does not owe anybody or PDP or Edo State. Chief Engineer Abu reminded those making the allegations that whoever wins the ticket of APC will have to depend on the support of everyone and all the campaign will come together, campaigners will come together to put in their resources. As a result, Pastor Z Iyamu has no money anywhere, but depending on every other one, as they've agreed within themselves to support whoever wins the primaries against to fight again to fight to face Godwin Obaseki in the forthcoming general primary election before the Globalitarian election in September. Izzy Iyamu has no money of the states in his account. This is just to let you know and for us to keep the record straight. My people, you can remember very well that part of the matter that made Izzy Iyamu not to win the elections in 20, uh, 2016 was as a result of this same allegation that is coming up now that the person of Ushomole used against him to say, you know what, you cannot rule a do state if you are a thief. He practically called a Ziyamu thief and he announced it to the world, to whoever will care to listen, that a Ziyamu stole and the money has not yet been retrieved or recovered. And as such, a Ziyamu is not fit to rule the good people of Edo State. I'm talking about the person of Adam Sushomole, the current APC chairman, was the person who ended a Ziyamu's career at that time. So what are we talking about? Izzy Iyamu now is the right hand man to the person of Oshomole, who Oshomole himself is campaigning for to take on the party's ticket to become the next governor of Edo State. Anyhow, they say, oh, that be die hard. This has come back again to bite Izzy Iyamu on the butt as 
that allegation is ongoing and people are saying what about that 700 million uh, naira alleg uh, million you know allegation that Iziyamu is yet to clear Iziyamu camp campaign uh, officers are saying uh, explaining what happened to that money and that the then PDP members some of them are still alive and can vouch and can say this was what happened and as a result everything has been uh, all dealt with and covered that uh, indeed Iziyamu has no money of a do state in his personal account well a do state the ball is in your court are you going to take a man who has issues or you are sure of somebody with competence that truly love you guys and wants to support the state not just supporting the state but also wants to make sure that a do state move forward someone that is truly coming to serve to make sure that the roles are done to make sure that the school are of international standard to make sure that a do state become a state of the a state in the nation that other states emulate to become like is it someone who truly loves the state as a nation who really loves the people of Edo state or just political just having somebody there to occupy the space occupy the time being Edo state you have to make this decision you have to choose somebody who is competent who can take the state forward and who can help Edo people to see the demo the, the, the evidence of democracy enough of what we've been having in nigeria see i've been saying it and we keep saying it at apple line media that a campaign for a good country start from the state level see if you can confidently and accurately lead the state you know lead the state and you show true patriotism you are in your state and you make your state the best in in nigeria guess what it will reflect in the nation everybody around the nations of the world will begin to say have you been to so 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 and so states that governor is trying everybody will begin to talk about it and before you know it you can even be requested for by the people to contest for the state of a president knowing that you are fully up to the tax and you are a man of the people and you love the people truly and really we are talking about a do state one of the states one of the oldest states in nigeria why this was the state that was there even before nigeria became a nation this was one of this is one of the oldest states where we have the old benin empire where we have the, where we have good leadership where we have you know, people that own that owes the the what's it called the 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 the, the history of Nigeria. There is no way the history of Nigeria will be written without a do state being mentioned. And as such, a do state is an old state that requires good leadership to take her to the next level. We cannot continue with business as usual and expect things to change. Enough of the hanky packing. We must move ahead. If Z Iyamu has he has case with the government, he should dance on and face the tune to the song rather than coming. To to a do state and trying to you know uh play politics politics is where you see white and you're calling it black uh, apparently you know this actually is white we need to stop that and we need to move ahead we need to show to the good people of a do state that they deserve to have the best not just in leadership but in politics are you going to make that a reality are you going to make sure that the good people of a do state see the bright side of leadership are the schools going to be done are the rural area going to be developed? Is there going to be government projects on agriculture? Are the people going to be supported? Is a do state going to feel the light and the, uh, and the beauty of democracy again? All these are questions for the people of a do state to answer rather than, you know, campaigning or standing behind one person who you know does not have the key to take you to the next level. Is he, Iyamu is a strong contender and a campaign, one person who is seriously campaigning to become a do state governor. If you think Izzi Iyamu deserves to be the governor of a do state, by all means, please support him. Give him your 110% and make sure he becomes your governor if you are sure of his, of his capacity. But if you think that he's not the person, he's not the man of the hour, by no means support him. Because if you keep quiet in a time like this and you go ahead and support a candidate who cannot move you to the next level you are only selling the future of your children but if you support a candidate who you feel who you are sure of is the person is the right person for you then you are actually paving way for a better leadership and for a good edo state not just for yourself but for the generality of all edo lights so my people it's time to seriously have a think about the decisions we are making are we going to allow people to play politics on what matter to us 
or we are going to take the bull by the horn and make sure that Edo State is the best and nobody can tell us how to live our life and who will rule us. We are going to decide that by being patriotic, by doing the right things. My people, what is your take on this matter? These are my opinion. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. God bless you. Don't forget to have a lovely day. Bye for now.